Welcome to the College of Medicine Ultrasound Module number 6, Hepatobiliary. You're going to be able to visualize the gallbladder in two planes, check its relationship with the portal triad, and evaluate the thickness and the presence of stones. The gallbladder lies in the fossa at the junction of the right and left lobes of the liver. It has three main parts, the fundus, body, and the neck. The cystic duct connects the common hepatic duct to the common bile duct and is supplied by the cystic artery. Here we see a generalized view with the liver and the gallbladder. We have a closer image here. You see the gallbladder with the ducts draining into the duodenum along near the pancreatic duct. And then we have a classic from Gray's Anatomy where you see the posterior aspect and you see the gallbladder. We're going to use the abdominal probe and let's talk about the exam. The main landmark that you're looking for is the portal vein, actually the portal triad. And you want to orient yourself when you look for the portal vein, you want to follow the main lobar fissure to the gallbladder. It's the sign that will allow you to know that that cystic structure is actually the gallbladder and not like a loop of bowel, for example. And then, then in the transverse view, we can uh, visualize the portal triad, the portal vein with a common bile duct and the hepatic artery. If you see, it looks very similar to a very famous mouse, uh, and they call it the, the Mickey Mouse sign. So we're going to start with the satchel view. We're going to have the indicator pointing towards the patient's head, and we're going to sweep across the costal margin. And you should be able to visualize the gallbladder in the longitudinal view. Here we're looking at it. You can see the portal triad on your left side with a Mickey Mouse sign. And as we kind of sweep along the structures, you see the gallbladder there. It has some stones. We're going to talk about it later. But now we're going to switch to the transfer view, so you're going to rotate the probe counterclockwise, the indicator towards the patient's right, and you're going to sweep up and down so you're able to visualize the transfer view. Here we see it again. You have liver there, you have the gallbladder, and you have some white hyperechoic structures there that are casting a shadow, and those are stones. We're going to measure the wall thickness. We normally measure the anterior wall of the gallbladder, because if you measure the posterior wall, here where the arrow indicate the anterior wall, if you measure the posterior wall, you can get an artifact. Uh, it looks like it's enlarged, but it's just called acoustic enhancement. So now let's uh, try to visualize some stones. Here we have a, uh, a sagittal view. We have the liver, the gallbladder, and then we have this hyperechoic structure sitting there in the gallbladder. Uh, that's a stone, actually, a pretty big stone. Uh, and we know it's a stone because it has this very characteristic shadow behind it. Okay. Basically, the beam loses strength after it hits that uh, highly attenuated structure. So you have the shadow. Here we have another picture with uh, multiple stones there sitting at the near the fundus of the gallbladder, again, casting the, that very classic shadow. Here we have another uh, situation when we have the gallbladder and we are orienting ourselves, looking at the portal triad. There we have the portal vein with the common bile duct and the hepatic artery. Um, and then if you see within the gallbladder, we don't see stones, but we see sludge, okay? And let's say this patient comes in with right upper quadrant pain. You, you get some labs and their uh, liver functions are um, abnormal. You, you see that black stripe around the gallbladder. That's basically fluid. So that's basically one of the signs on ultrasound, uh, you know, pericholocystic fluid. And in the clinical setting of pain, you have acute cholecystitis. So basically, we've reviewed uh, gallbladder anatomy using ultrasound. You should be able to look at the gallbladder in both sagittal and the transverse views. And you should also be able to look for presence of stones within the gallbladder. So that's it. We're going to see you guys in the lab. Thank you.